All right, everybody. Um, I'm excited to give you a tutorial on how to do a adhesion bridge in Mesh Mixer. Um, if I had a word of advice, it would be to buy some real dental software. Um, I spent four years of my life figuring this stuff out, and I can't get those four years back. Um, all the time that you're spending learning this, you could be learning a legitimate dental software, and that would truly empower your team to be a lot more productive. Um, but nevertheless, I'm going to teach you guys how to do this because nobody taught me how to do it. I had to figure out the hard way. Um, so let's get started. Um, the first thing is we need a tooth to go into here. You could download teeth from um, the tooth library. Christian Brennis has one. The IDDA guys have one. You could search the internet and find one. Um, but what I'm going to do is I, I'm just going to go ahead and copy um, this tooth. But before I do that, I'm going to duplicate this model to have a backup. So I'm just going to hit edit, duplicate. And if you look, that's going to create in my objects browsers two uh, models. You could rename the first one and just call this like, um, let's see, I'm just going to call this original so that I don't mess it up. So uh, I'm actually going to hide that one by hitting the I, and I'm just going to be working off this duplicate model and leave my original unaltered. That's going to be important for later. So I'm just going to go to my select tool. Um, I'm going to Go ahead and uh, select crease angle here. That's going to help it kind of, but not really, um, find the outline of this tooth. The other thing that you could do is, um, it's kind of digressing here, is you could go to edit, um, generate face groups, and you could see how it uh, immediately identified that lateral which is kind of cool, but you could come in here and change the angle threshold up there. Oh, shoot. What you want is that central to be there. Doggone it. It's touchy. There we see. You don't want it like this where there's all these um, rainbow colors on the tooth. So I'm just going to, you just have to kind of, you could even type in a number. Let's just type in six. Um, I'm going to type in seven that's pretty good these are two different greens it's almost impossible to tell but we just have a tiny little bit so i'm going to hit accept so then i'm going to hit my select tool and double click that one tooth and what i'm going to do is just come in here and paint what's missing you could also go to um edit I'm sorry, modify, expand ring, and it will start to fill in automatically there. But you can see we've got a pretty good tooth selection here. Um, I'm going to hit B to smooth that border. And this is where everybody got stuck last time. Uh, you kind of have to hit accept. There you go. All right. Um, so now to, to extract that tooth, I'm going to hit uh, Y. Which, which makes that its own little mesh. So if you come uh, here, now I have this tooth. To close these holes, I'm just going to go to Analysis, Inspector, Auto Repair All. Make sure Flat Fill is on. Um, that's right here. There we go. Done. Now um, I'm just going to go to Sculpt, Brushes, Robust Smooth, and I'm just going to smooth. If you guys aren't getting these uh, new face group colors, like that green there, it just means that in your settings, you don't have uh, remember face groups on. But anyway, so now I have this cool tooth. So let's put on my original model. And um, let me go to my tooth, and I hit T for transform. And look at that. Now, you're saying, well, it's it's it looks like you have two of the same teeth. I get it. But what you could do is you could go to edit, mirror, and just drag that thing over and hit accept. Now I have this, which represents a mirror image, and then the original. I need to delete the original, so I'm going to go to select, double click that original, and just hit X on the keyboard. And um, if you notice, it uh, it didn't select this little sliver here, so I'm on, still under my select tool, so I'm going to come over here and find that little sliver. Jeepers creepers, let me hide this model. Come on, let me change the size of my select brush. There we go, X. Okay, so now I have a perfect mirror image here. 
So I'm just going to come in. Now, if you guys are rotating this, if you need more uh, freedom, hit the up arrow on the keyboard and you have like unlimited, um, see if I hit up arrow, now the tick marks get tiny. So I'm just going to come in here. That looks about right. Maybe something like that. Yeah. Super cool. Okay. I love it. And of course, you could bring on the opposing to make sure you have no occlusal issues. Okay, so I have a mirror image of my contralateral tooth. Um, now what I need to do is make my wings and adjust my proximal contacts as well in my ponic pressure. Let's do the proximal contact and ponic pressure first. So I'm going to turn um, this model magnetic by hitting this little my original model is going to be magnetic, which means it's going to turn that blue. I'm going to select my tooth and go to Sculpt. Not select, but Sculpt, Brushes, Matt, Attract. I'm going to put this, uh, you know, 20, 30. And I'm going to come to my Ponic space. And now it's going to Sculpt perfect tissue pressure. The pressure will be like zero. It'll be um, just touching the tissue there. And then for my proximal contact, I'm going to do the same there and right about there. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead now and turn that off because it's annoying. And you can see what it did. It made um, tissue pressure here. It made a proximal contact there and there. Now what I'm going to do is remove that uh, Original model, I just smooth this up. So I'm going to go to Sculpt, uh, Brushes, um, Robust Smooth. Just kind of smooth out a smidgen right there. And uh, you, you could make um, Ovate Ponic Site. You could make um, Modified Ridge Lab. Um, whatever you want to do here. OK, cool, cool, cool. Uh, now we've got to make the wings. And to do that, I'm going to actually um, click my original model my original and hit edit duplicate. I'm going to turn off my original. Now I have another copy and I'm going to come in here and hit select. And let's just do two wings here. I'm going to come in here, extend your wings as close down as you can get there. And, you know, take into consideration occlusion like that. I'm going to hit B for smooth border. This is where everybody got tripped up. I hit enter on the keyboard, or you just like literally hit like accept. And then you hit uh, Y. Y as in yellow to separate out that mesh. Control A to select all. D as in dog to extrude. And I'm going to come in here and make them 0.8 or about 1 and hit accept. And then I'm going to turn off that original model. I mean, not the original, the copy model. That's what I'm looking at. I'm going to hit select on the outer surface, and it won't select the inner. And if you don't have this set up, it's in your settings, like one of these, um, I don't know. It's in the settings somewhere where, maybe it's under uh, preferences, where you come in here and mesh mode color group color, maybe. Um, I can't honestly remember, but it's one of these things. Anyway, but then I'm just going to go to Deform, Smooth, and that's going to round those corners so it doesn't, you could even uh, really round it so it doesn't hurt the patient. And then this surface is unaltered and hit Accept. So now the question is, um, how do you connect, um, and this is actually the most difficult part, this to this. Um, the first thing you want to do is um, you see where they are when you click. I click the tooth, it's called this, and I click these, it's called this. If you hold control down on your keyboard and select only those two different things and hit combine, okay. Now what we need to do is come in here and we need to make our connectors. So I'm going to come in here and hit B. And then I'm going to go to edit tube handle, okay, like that, and I'm going to go to clear, and then I'm going to come in here and do the same thing, so I'm going to come in here and make a longer connector here, um, 
And a long one here, hit B as in boy. Enter, uh, edit, tube handle, and hit accept. And then you could come in here and um, go to your sculpt brushes, robust smooth, and just kind of um, smooth those connectors like that. So now if I turn on my original model, I could see, and you want to make sure that you have no penetrations of the connector uh, through the tooth, and everything is just absolutely beautiful. And so I will go ahead now and um, let me just go to Control A and go to Modify Clear Face Groups so you guys could see uh, what it's looking like right here. There's a number of different ways to do this. This is the way I do it. It usually takes a minute or two when I'm not teaching. Uh, I hope this helps. So what you would do is you would actually just print this. Okay, like nice beefy connectors. Um, you would go to File, Export, Binary STL, and you would print that file. Um, actually, let me show you guys how I would set it up in my printer. Uh, I'm just going to call this uh, Bridge. Okay. So in my RP1 software, super easy. Um, the Einstein Flexair Smile Ultra Plus. I'm just going to go ahead and find this uh, bridge. Here we are, this little guy. Um, I would print it in sizal edge down just like this, and I would probably, so my support tips are 0.4, which you better have a dialed in printer if you're having 400 micron thick support tips. And if you do have them that small, you should probably increase the density like that. And this little guy will print in this instance in about 25 minutes, 24 minutes. Um, so it is possible to do these while the patient waits. That's how you would set that up. Uh, if you were in a rush and you wanted to print this faster, you could. You could eliminate um, the height of the supports and things like that. But this will print very accurately, very successfully. Um, I've done a few hundred of these, um, and they hold up remarkably well. Now, how are you going to bond it? You're going to sandblast this wing um, with 30, 20 to 50 micron aluminum oxide, about two bars of pressure. Okay, so you're going to sandblast those. Then you're going to um, drop a drop of silane on there. Okay, I use Monobond Plus from Ivoclar. Then you're going to dry that. Then you're going to paint on liquid adhesive that you would use for like your, you know, whatever you're bonding your composites on. I use Adhes Universal. Um, you could use whatever adhesive you're using for your composites. You're going to um, blow that thin, not cure it. And on the tooth, you're going to etch uh, with phosphoric acid. You're going to bond, uh, cure your bond, and then load this up with composite cement, um, veneer cement, or some light cure-only cement so that you have time. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. Super easy. Uh, but, dude, you guys, get some, like, ExoCAD or 3Shape or Blender for Dental or something because um, Mesh Mixer, I could do anything I want in Mesh Mixer, including dentures, but it took four years of my life. All right, guys.